Hi guys, this is Sevi Sylvester. I'm a mechanical designer, CADCAM expert in Setpo Infotech Private Limited. So today I'm here to give you a basic introduction about mechanical designing. I'm going to give you a basic introduction about CATIA. I'm going to give you a basic introduction about AutoCAD also. So before starting these things, I want to introduce my company whom I'm working with. I'm working for a company called Setpo Infotech Private Limited. If you want to do, join our regular courses and all, you can come to our branches and all. We are situated in La Noida, we are situated in Lucknow, we are situated in Rurki, we are also in Chandigarh also. So before starting these things, I want to introduce what are the logos about. This is the logo of Dissault System. Dissault System is a company from France. This is the, com uh, this is the logo of AutoCAD. This is an American company. This is the software uh, of uh, SolidWorks. This is a also Dissault System. This is PTC, Parametric Technology Corporation. They have changed their name. Now they are known as Creo. This is ANSYS. ANSYS is a mashing tool software. We can analyze the things, stress analyze, thermal analysis and all. NX, NX is Unigraphics. Unigraphics is a best software for surface designing all. Including this software, the best software is CATIA for designing and all. We can use it in various type of things like uh, in mechanical designers, we can art and all, we can assemble the things and all. So directly coming to the software, I want to give you the basic introduction of CATIA. What is CATIA? The full form of CATIA is Computer Edit Three Dimensional Interactive Application. Just now we are working with the software called V5. The version of the CATIA is V5 R20. Just now we are working with the software. So this is a workbench of CATIA. This is uploaded with 190 workbenches. 190 workbenches. We are different type of workbenches. For example, sketches. For example, part modeling. For example, uh, assembly designing and all like surface designing and all. So basically, what we are going to start, we are going to start with sketches. So I am only giving you the basic introduction. This is a planer. This is a plane. X Y plane, Y Z plane, Z X plane, and uh, these are the tools for these things. In which plane we have to work on? We are working on top plane, XY plane. These are the vector vector shapes. We are having all vector shapes and all. This is line, polyline, circle, rectangle, arc, ellipse, hexagon, rectangle, polygon. These are all the shapes and circle. These are all the shapes and all. Whatever we want to do, we can create. Suppose we want to create a body. So we can create a body also. Suppose we want to give the dimension or not. If our body is fully defined, it will convert into uh, green in color will convert in green in color suppose we are working with this thing so there are two type of uh, constants one geometrical constant one dimensional constant so these are the dimensional constants so this is 100 this is 100 means this is the geometrical constant now we uh, dimensional constant and now we are going to define it from this thing origin this is a origin this is the this is suppose 50 And suppose this is 50, so this will also move to 50. So this point is in the center point. Now this rectangle is on the center. Now we are going to change our workbench. This is exit workbench. We can exit our workbench. This is for exit. Here are some tools. This is the workbench of part modeling. Part modeling means we are going to create a part. Suppose pad, pocket, and these things. And all. Suppose this is pad. We want to create this pad. So we can just click on this soft tool. This is 20, this is 100, this is 100, this is 50 what we have defined. The thing is that pad will increase, means it will uh, add the material. It will. It is going to add a material in this plane, this is the surface. If we are typing here in uh, 20 mm, so this dimension is 20 mm, suppose like this. So this is 20 mm. Suppose we are just doubling, double click on this and if we are doing mirror, so this is, this is the plane. Above it is 20 and downward it is 20. The whole thing is now 40. Suppose we want to uh, calculate this thing. We can calculate it like this. From this place to this place. It is 40. Means 20 from the half and 20 from this place. So this is totally 40. Suppose if you want to create something on this thing. Suppose we want to create some planar on this thing. We can directly click on this, this thing. Tool. Suppose we want to do a hole. So we can just make a hole here. This thing. We can mirror it. We can copy. We can just copy it. We can mirror. This thing. Okay. 
so we can mirror it like this also mirror we can mirror it by horizontal axis also we can come to workbench this is the workbench we can use to add material we can use this thing pad okay this is to add material if you want to remove material we have to control z if we want to do remove this material from this place we can just click on this and it is going to remove the material see it is removing the material if we, this is the depth how much depth you want suppose 20 mm suppose we want to increase this areas so it will increase the portion what we want to decrease see so this portion is decreasing the means removing the material this all suppose suppose we are having one profile like this thing so I'm going to tell you what is shaft. This is a profile. See, and this is the axis. We are going to select this portion, which is our profile. This is our profile, and the axis is this portion. So this is going to revolve around 360 degree. If you want to do it half, we can type 180 degree, and it is going to be half. See, like this. This is first angle, means this is first and this is second. Suppose this is second, we are going to hold it and we can rotate it like this also. Free hand. This is our profile we are working with. And this is uh, limit one. We are going to change this also. Like this. Preview and OK. So this is shaft. We can rotate any object with. Suppose we are having one body like this. And we are working on this plane. We are having a profile. We can directly put the horizontal things, means this is the constant. We are directly putting on this. We can put the horizontal things. We can exit the workbench. This is the workbench. And we can use this thing. This is to add material. See, this is the axis. This is we are adding the material. See, we are going to add the material with this thing. We want to change the angle on not we can change the angle also. suppose if you want to do remove material so opposite thing is this also we can remove material see we can just click and we can just click on the axis this is the axis portion this is the planar and we can remove the material from this place so the basic thing is that this pad is to add material and this pocket is to remove material this shaft is to add material and this group is to remove material so the other feature is now rib rib is the follower path means to follow a path we need a trajectory the trajectory is this thing so suppose this thing suppose we are going to play uh, create a plane so we can also create a plane anywhere as we want as we wish so we can create a plane this is the object this is the point where we are going to create a plane we can create any surface body kind of profile we can make a profile suppose this is a profile we can exit and we can do this thing rib rib is profile is this thing curve is this so this is going to follow the path this is going to follow suppose if you want to create a mug suppose if you want to create a cup in this thing suppose if you want to create a cup you can use this type of tool suppose you can use X by axis, you can create this thing. You can take a circle of a radius of 150. You can take it. You can create dia. R define R 
needs radius and d needs diameter so we are going to give a thickness we are going to add a material we are going to add a material about 100 so 100 mm is the material size suppose 150 so 150 is the length so it is the adding the material also so we need to draft we need a taper angle here so we can do a taper angle this is the planar this is the thing phase to draft phase to draft is this thing we are going to draft this phase angle keep the negative value means this thing and the neutral phase is this so positive value it is going outwards and in negative values it is going inwards suppose I am writing minus 5 so it is going inwards see and in outwards if you want we can write this value in positive so it is going outwards so this is the draft you can see some drafted portions little bit drafted tapered now we are going to put an fillet here so we are going to put the fillet of 5 radius here this is the radius 5 you can just click on the feature you can click here you can find the portion here also and see the fillet drafted and bad whatever we have, whatever tools we have recently used we can use the things and all this is 5 this is 10 this is 10 I'm writing this on this <coughs> we can make this portion shell suppose this is the shell portion shell I'm doing this as 2 mm suppose 3 mm so 3 mm from this place and 3 mm from this place this is going to be shell now I want to create a handle this is a kind of cup suppose I want to create a handle we can select this portion this plane and we are going to use this thing spline we can use spline this is the good tool here good tool escape so we have to uh, create one plane on this curve so planar is and this is also a branch okay, planar is this you can just click on this this is the planar normal curve you can create the profile and this one fit to screen this one like this you can create a profile You can so see the spaces there. It is not completely merged. So we can just click on the merged portion that will be merged with the ends. This is merged. So this is the kind of curve you can create everything. Like this, you can create part, you can create the models and all. This you can hide. You can add material to this portion. Suppose you want to add a material. Suppose you want to add a paint. You want to add something different. So this is the portion of material. Add material. You can add anything. Suppose paint. Suppose you want it red. This is the red portion. So you can not see the material. So by clicking on shades and material, you can view the colors. Here. So this is the portion. This is the portion. You can view it. You can just see. So the final thing is uh, how to do render and all things. We can render the image. We can use it like this things and all. We can change the uh, background color. Yeah, here is a tool. We can change the background. We can just click on this default system. Here we can change the systems of the light. There are two types. We can change the light effects. Here we can show it like this. So this is the ground. We can increase the contrast and all. This is the portion where we can render this material. You can set your object like this if you want perspective view. So you can just click on this thing. Plane is there inside. So this is a perspective. Little bit perspective.
keep your mug like this this is the portion for transparency of the shadows and all reflectivity of the shadow you can just click on ok and this is the final portion for render it will take some time for render and all it is going to take 2 minutes 1 minute 19 seconds it is going to be render and you can save it like uh, jpeg and all you can save it like jpeg you can uh, edit the this thing shadows and all if you want you can edit the things and all you can see here you can whatever tools you have used whatever things you have used you can just click on save and the pick pick you can save this pick also which type of pick you want uh, i wanted high quality jpeg dot jpeg Render R E N R yeah. So I'm going to save it on our desktop. This is the desktop. So this is my desktop. So this is the image. Whatever I have created the thing. So this is the cub. You can uh, save it like JPEG and use anywhere. If you want to use it, you can use it. So this is a short tutorial how to make a cup and all. Yeah. Nice to see you. Meet you in my next tutorial.